What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Yes, this is video number two today. If you haven't seen the first one I dropped this morning, whoo, y'all better go check it out. But here's the Matco truck, so let's see what Michael's got today. Come on. They didn't turn the heater on out there, did they? No, and I think they're <laughs> going to leave the freezer door open tonight, too. Man, uh, we're supposed to get it. I heard we're possibly going to get some snow and ice. I don't know how, how enthused I am about that. I'd much rather be wearing shorts. But, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I don't like it hot. No, I don't like it but hot. But I don't like it freezing cold. But you know, the other day it got about 70 degrees, and that was perfect for yep. me. Oh, that was nice. A little cool in the evening, but it was 70 in the day when I needed to do stuff, so it was great. <laughs> um, this cold weather, it's just hard to get moving at all. Yeah. But it is what it is. Well, you had a big week. We've had a good week. Um, we're hoping uh, to put some sales together this weekend and, and have a big sales event next week. So. We'll see how it goes, but for the week that we've had, it's just been good. I That's mean, good. We've had low temperatures to begin the week, then 70 degrees, so then low temperatures again with some rainy days in the mix. So the rain always slows everything down just a little bit, yeah. um, but it didn't really affect us this week. So That's good. We were, we were glad of that, but yeah. Can't but, beat that. No. Got well, something new. Yeah, I do, but we're going to unbox it together. Uh, I haven't put it out. So it's, they've got now these magnets to hold like cans and stuff up. Uh -huh. um, but I've seen some really cool ideas with other distributors where they're actually taking and it'll actually hold up um, like handguns and stuff. Yeah, I've seen a guy on Instagram had done that and it was, so that was pretty cool. I never even thought about the gun part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, no, that's not what Michael intended it to be, but. Hey, hey I'm sure okay. they'll sell it because y'all were an authorized DeSantis yeah dealer now so we are i mean hey whatever you want to use it for right um but it's a pretty slick little magnet i mean it's it's light and two perfect holes i like that it's uh countersunk that mm -hmm. way the the screws won't scratch anything the only thing i would be worried about on the gun would be scratching it but you could actually probably put a, a little thin piece of foam or something here to protect right. that and you're not going to be you know throwing it on there or anything else um, mm -hmm. that'd be nice to mount underneath your dash dash or yeah. uh, desk or whatever it might be right um, mm -hmm. I like the can holder idea I think it's a good idea um, the only thing about brake clean I'd have to hide it because when I worked at a dealership the brake oh, clean yeah. was always coming up missing brake cleaners um, hard so to keep, keep keep intact they've already got one on there sticks on there good to go yep. uh, they got us a whole little display and stuff but I hadn't put it out yet. I was uh, looking at all the cool ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the gun idea a lot. Yeah. Um, I like the can idea. They're cheap enough to where you can get, you know, a couple. Um, but I know they make, they actually make uh, magnets for guns and stuff. So this mm -hmm. falls right in in the line with it. Plus, people like green and orange. So. Yeah. I seen one of the distributors. He had a. It looked like a Sieg, and it was. It had this handle on it. Right. Did you see yeah. it? Yeah, he had. I'm cool. pretty sure he had that custom made for himself, um, and then like, it turned into such like a good idea. That. Yeah, I think he. I don't know if we're talking about the same one, but I think he's actually did some giveaways with that done on it and stuff. That's so, cool. uh, it, I don't know where he gets them done at, but that's mm -hmm. that's pretty cool how he does that. I bet that guy that did Brent's American flag blue ratchet in that Cerakote yeah. dip. I bet he could do that. Yeah, I bet he could too. So. Um, I don't know what all is involved in that, but whoever did his cool. did a really good job. And I used to work with a guy that did the the ratchet, so I know he does a good job. So um, I'm still working on the part number. The part number that I got on the box right now is um, for the whole display kit. But mm -hmm. I'll I'll try to get the part number and text it okay. to you. But uh, I'm sure they can't be that hard to find if you go to Matt Goes website and. Use sometimes the word it is, magnetic sometimes it and can holder. It's probably there. 
Um, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But yeah, I'll I'll get the part number. I know people like to ask the part number, so I'll see if I can if I can get it rounded up and, and yeah. sent out. But everybody's wanting to know the part number of that shirt jacket, the lightweight jacket, like the one you the got one on. I got on right now. Um, and, uh, we'll go right back to the back and we'll get it because um, I don't know it on top of my head. I always cheat off of the. Uh, if you got an extra large one of them, I need to get one of them too. Well, I got an extra large right here. And that's going to be the part number there for the extra large. Um, the only thing that's going to change about the part number is the size. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's good lightweight jacket. Um, I don't think they're going to have any of these on the website because they were a special order deal. But if you've got a dealer around you yeah. and they pre-ordered them, they'll be there. We had... The, the heavy jackets first, which is about what we're supposed to get ready to wear for the next three days. That's what I wore today at lunch. Yeah, so <laughs> um, if I hadn't been uh, in in a heated area, I would have. But, yeah, that that's probably more what we're supposed to get ready to wear. But then we're going to these, so. Uh, Those are nice, nice jackets. These here, I know people's asked for the part number. I don't know if you got the tag uh, still on it or not. Yeah, it'll probably still be on there. Um, I those think. Are, or you can make a liar out of me, either one. Let's see here. Really nice jackets. Yeah, so there's the part number there. It's gonna be PW, uh, PDWJ20 and then the size. Okay. So. And I'll let my wife fold that back up because she's so good at it. I'll just kind of shove it there. It works better that way anyway. Well, I know you had the uh, 2020 lights on here. Oh, the streamline? Uh-huh. Yeah. They're... How How's their feedback? Because what I've heard that you can run that light on low and it's more than enough to work in a shop. That's what we're hearing. Um, and on high, it's better for outside. They said like if you put it on high and try to work inside, it almost will blind you. But everybody's saying the battery life is un real that's what we're lines. that's the feedback we're getting um i know they're flying off the shelves yeah um when dealers can get them they're they're leaving quicker than we can keep them so um we were kind of worried about the name there you know everybody was <laughs> yeah that's not the best they probably yeah. they probably thought of that in 2019 yeah that, that, and, uh, uh, thought, hey this will be a good release yeah the the, the name of it kind of scared us for the 2020 but no, I I like the the function of it. I like the way it's designed, the the grip. I like everything about it. Yeah. Um, you know, Streamlight Forever had the same design on on their Streamlight. So I guess to spice it up, they up the lumens and and change the design of it. I, think I know that, I've got two Stingers that yeah. are probably twenty years apart. One of them still got the regular bulbs in it. You yeah. Know? And then the new one's the LED and. Other than the bulb, there's no difference in the yeah. lights, you know, so. Well, they knocked it out of the park with the, the 2020s, mm -hmm. and, they, and everybody's liking them. Everybody's um, saying they'll last like a whole week. Yeah. Without on well, charge, I mean, you know? I guess that depends on how much you're using it. The battery life um, depends on how much you're using it. But, yeah, everybody's bragging about the battery life, the lumens. Um, they like that it kind of has like a tactical look to mm -hmm. it. I mean. I yeah. like the way it, the grips were when you like flip it over, yeah. you know, where the head's in your hand yep. shining out. It felt really good. So. Yeah. There's been a lot of talk the last week about the 2020s. I guess they're finally starting to circulate around. And They are. It took forever. Um, you know, they, they come out and like everything else that everybody's real excited for, it, it back ordered almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And... I think that's just the world we're living in right now. Like I'm having to tell more and more people, hey, that's that's back ordered, but I'll get right. it as soon as I can. I think everybody's having that issue. Um, I've talked to a couple of the snap-on dealers that I run with, and and they're the same way. They're having a little trouble getting stuff. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't talked to a Cornwell dealer or a Mac dealer, but uh, I, I figure. I know the same. Mac truck just now started carrying them like yeah. i guess he's had enough requests and they finally were able to get them and yeah i don't know how many ordered he only had one left on the truck when he come yeah. thursday so that's pretty much how those sales go on those yeah um, having it there it's one of those items that you can talk about it and nobody really understands it but mm -hmm. when they put it in their hand they cut it on they want it right then yeah um you know and a lot of the talk was they're a whole lot more expensive 
than the other ones because you don't get the extra battery and you don't get the piggyback charger and all yeah. of that, you know. Well, um, so. I believe from what we got told, we, we have the kit now that has the battery and the piggyback, the charger. Um, but I, I don't know. Um, when it first came out, it was, they were a little bit more expensive or a lot more expensive, but you know, mm -hmm. they're so much better. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, we have to go open price, which Streamlight, it, uh, that's the way, you know. It's that, hard to beat a Streamlight, man. You they're, know, I've, they're I've, tried, I've tried the Coast Lights and I like the little AR or A9R yeah. or whatever it is, the pin light, I like it. But that's about the only Coast Light that I like. Maybe. I like the the perfect round circle beam yeah. that it has on it. Maybe but, those are H9Rs or something like that. Yeah, maybe remember. that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I had They've guys... got two of them. One of them's short, yeah. you know, shorter than an ink pen, and one of them's longer than an ink pen. And yeah. I got the longer one. I think I had one over here. Um, and but, uh, I like it, you know, but like I say, I I, I just use my stream light more. A lot know? of people like the uh, circular beam for inspections and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah, the and see, they, they redid the Stylish Pros too. They mm -hmm. upped the... Yeah, they're like Lumens. 350 They're 350 now, now. yeah. yeah. Um, when most people, when they, I, I sold three of those today and everything, well, which one's better between it, the rechargeable and the battery one? And of course, I say the rechargeable because you don't have the batteries, but also mm -hmm. the lumens. I mean, you got 100 lumens compared to 350. Yeah. Yeah, the process is different, but rechargeable, no batteries, 350 lumens mm -hmm. compared to non-rechargeable and only 100 lumens, so. Yeah. And it's hard to believe we thought you used to think 100 lumens were bright. Yeah, I mean, right. I had the mine wasn't even 100 lumens. The first one I had was 90. Yeah. And I thought that was the greatest thing ever. Yeah. You know? And honestly, I don't know. I don't ever turn mine on high. I have the capability of it, but yeah. I never do. I just, and I don't know what it is on low, but I always <laughs> just use it on low. Yeah. I catch myself every now and then, like if I'm into barn or something like that, I might click it on high, but most of the time, low's yeah. good on it. Yeah. And I forget too, you gotta double click it to Get turn right. it on high, so I just, <laughs> just run with it like it is. Yeah, I will say a lot of people do that. They forget that they can double click to get high. Yeah, I will say a lot of people do that. They forget that they can double click to get high. But hey, if you got We're talking about the lumens, guys, not, not getting high. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you can't. I, I haven't found anybody who can beat the stream like yet. I yeah. know. Um, and the warranty on them, man, is just. The warranty is what gets you me. You can't beat it. Um, I, I, you know, I've sent in some questionable ones and I'm like, eh, I don't know. And mm -hmm. they've stood behind it. Um, now, the issues that were there wasn't because of the, the, the damage that I had saw. I mean, it was other things, but, but they took care of it, mm -hmm. so. The only issue I've ever had with any of my stream lights is the button. Yeah. You know, the button goes out and. Well, and on the, the rechargeable ones, we can actually get just a button. Uh, not the rechargeable, the non-rechargeable, we can get the just cap. the buttons. Yeah. But on the rechargeable, we can't. So, I mean, I just, I hand you a new one is what, mm -hmm. what I do. But, um, you know, you always take that risk. But yeah, I just hand a new one out. That's, you send it in. And they were, they'll they'll fix it or, or send you another one, but right. Um, well, I bought the little micro yeah streamline or whatever it's called, and I liked it, yeah. but it's too short for my hands. I got too big of hands, I guess, because when I try to hold it normally, the lights up in my <laughs> hand. Yeah. And um, um, you know, that was the first one you could double click and make it brighter. I think it was two fifty lumens. So yeah. I gave it to my wife, and it's perfect for her leaving her purse, you know. And I so. carried the shorter ones for a little while, but most guys only like to have those on their hat. They mm -hmm. didn't like to have them in their hands. So. Yeah, they're just too small for my liking. So but. I carry the other ones now, and, and they have they have good feedback. So I don't have any problem out of the warranty. Mm -hmm. You got your Valentine's yet? For No. Well. No. We're in the same boat then. We, we might just go out and eat or something, you know. And, yeah. Every day is Valentine's Day to me. I mean, I love my wife every day. Oh, I don't I have see. to have a special day to, to she say that. She watched the videos, huh? She probably won't, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, you know. It is true. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to turn this thing off. If you have not seen the Blue Ratchet video, click that card right there and go watch it because 
pretty cool. All right, guys. Thumbs up if you like it. Merchandise, cool tools and discount codes. And take your finger and click that subscribe button. It's free. Just press that button. Watch that video right there. See ya.